Yeah, good morning, everybody. And uh, you are right. We had really a solid uh, performance in the quarter two, actually, over all businesses. If it comes to the international business to start with, it's actually more a timing issue than anything else. We have and we see not only internationally, we see in Europe, we see in the technologies quite a positive segment mom momentum, not only in new builds for new technologies, especially in the area to help customers to upgrade and to get more energy and cost efficient. Very interesting that we've had this pivot on oil and gas and carbon related fuels. For many years, I think we've talked to you at Billfinger about how you transition away from that particular segment of the energy mix. But given the demands that we have now as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, it seems everybody wants as much oil and gas as they can get their hands on. What do you think that implies for your business opportunity over the next six to 12 months? Actually, it's a positive outlook. And it's a positive outlook in two areas. At first, in so-called upgrading brownfield investments, because the investments, especially in Europe, were lagging behind over the last few years based, as you rightly said, less interest in oil and gas. But the other part is to help our clients to get more efficient on their side. What does it mean with efficiency? I think sometimes it appears too simple to switch from one gas supplier to another one, the same as with oil. If you get different resources, you have to adopt your existing infrastructure. And that is a big part of our business too. Thomas, one of the things that, that is um, getting harder, though, I think for all companies is costs. And interestingly, I think your UK operation in the North Sea is now having to negotiate with the unions about the energy services agreement. And, and having been outside of it for a long time, you are now coming into the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the big tent, as it were. But obviously that means that your labor costs are going to have to go up. Could you tell us a bit about the cost input side of the business and how that is expected to change over the next six to 12 months? Yeah, as you know, we have two areas uh, where cost inflation is coming in. One is, of course, in the material supply. That is where we are not very much exposed to. And of course, the wages. And the wage increase is actually from country to country different. We have quite big differences in Europe and, of course, worldwide. The important part is, and that is what we have, that you have with your customers so-called price escalation clauses, where if inflation hits, that you can forward these cost increases towards the customers. But more important is what hits us is actually towards the industry and our clients, because the inflation hits them significantly harder and tougher. So it's important that we are able to offer them to have cost reductions and to make things more efficient. And if I may say so, this, what was said before with oil and gas, I would like to extend and expand a little bit on that. What the industry needs is a higher efficiency and a higher level of sustainability. And that is where we as building up play quite well already. And we are targeting to be the number one in that area in the markets where we operate. 